those of you who don't know me, my name is Becca. I am currently reading a series of children's books on video. This is the second in my series. And today I am reading Walt Disney's The Sorcerer's Apprentice. Once there was a man who knew everything there was to know about magic. He was a great sorcerer. The sorcerer had a wonderful hat. When he wore his hat, he could just think magic and it would happen. Could think about a butterfly and it would appear. But only the sorcerer knew the magic words to make it disappear. The sorcerer did not live alone. He had a helper named Mickey. Mickey did all the work. He swept the floor. He chopped the wood. He carried the water from the well. Mickey knew about the magic of the hat. If I had that hat, said Mickey, I would never have to work again. One day, the sorcerer had to go out. Mickey was alone at last. And there, on the table, was the sorcerer's magic hat. Now I can be a sorcerer, said Mickey. He reached for the magic hat, and he put the hat on his head. An old broom was standing by the wall. I'll put a spell on that broom, said Mickey. He did what the sorcerer always did. He pointed his fingers at the broom, and the broom began to move. The broom grew two feet. It grew a right arm, and then a left arm. Broom, commanded Mickey. The broom did just what Mickey said. Go up the steps, said Mickey. And the broom went up the steps. Fill the buckets, said Mickey. The broom filled the buckets. Bring them back, said Mickey. The broom brought them back. Pour the water, said Mickey. The broom poured the water. Mickey danced around the room. Magic is easy, he cried. I will never work again. Then Mickey sat down in the sorcerer's chair. Work, broom, work, he said. While the broom went on filling buckets and pouring water, Mickey fell asleep. He dreamed he was the greatest sorcerer in the world. Suddenly, something cold and wet woke him up. It was a splash of water. Another splash knocked Mickey out of his chair. Water was everywhere. The broom was flooding the room. Stop, cried Mickey. The broom did not stop. Mickey pointed his fingers at the broom, but the broom kept going. He held out his arms, but the broom pushed him down. He grabbed the bucket, but the broom held on tight. Wasn't there any way to stop the broom? The axe. Mickey grabbed it. He chopped the broom into bits. Well, that's over, said Mickey. But it wasn't over. Something strange was going on. The bits of the wood began to move. The bits of the wood turned into brooms. And all the new brooms had feet and arms and buckets, and they marched up the steps, never stopping. The brooms came back with more water. Mickey leaned against the door to keep them out, but the brooms pushed it open. Mickey held out his arms to hold them back, but the brooms walked right over him. I'm a sorcerer, cried Mickey. 
the brooms marched on and on. Brooms and more brooms. Buckets and more buckets in a great line. They poured and they poured. The water got deeper and deeper. Poor Mickey. It was all he could do to keep his head above the water. Then the Sorcerer's Book of Magic floated by. Mickey grabbed it. Page after page, Mickey looked for the magic words that would stop the brooms. But the water began to whirl. Mickey couldn't read the words. Mickey hung on to the book as he went around and around in the water, spinning faster and faster. Mickey was caught in a great whirlpool. There was nothing he could do. But what is this? A great dark shadow on the wall? The sorcerer has come back. He knew at once what Mickey had done. He raised his arm and roared a great command. The brooms in the water disappeared with just one broom left. It was the old broom standing by the wall. The sorcerer was frowning. He looked down at Mickey. Mickey took off the sorcerer's hat and very carefully, ever so neatly, he made it look nice again. He gave the hat back to the sorcerer. Just a little magic trick, <laughs> said Mickey. But the sorcerer did not laugh. The sorcerer looked down at his little helper. Don't start what you can't finish, he said. So Mickey went up the stairs and back to work. Thank you for listening and watch out soon for another video.